In today's video, I will be showing you guys my last and final jump shots for all archetypes. I have a glitzy jump shot for all play shots and guards who want to just get unlimited threes up. And I also have another jump shot for all ISO builds and spot ups. Drop a like in the next 30 seconds and pay attention. I'm putting three random numbers in the video. Find the three random numbers if you want a chance to win an NBA 2K23 for free. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment Ja Gang or No Gang right now, man. Let's go! What's good with y'all boys, man? I know what time it is, bro. It's been a minute. Pay attention to today's video. There will be three random numbers throughout the video. Once you find all three, send them to me on Instagram or Twitter, and I will put your name on the wheel for the NBA 2K23 giveaway. I've been getting comments on my recent videos along with my Twitch streams about people wanting to know my new custom jump shots. I haven't dropped a custom jump shot in almost two months. Both of these jump shots will also work on next gen for the people that was wondering. I'm not just going to leave y'all hanging, man. I'm going to put y'all on to the tips and the tricks and the badges to use. Also, so you can green every single shot. So with that being said, make sure you already dropped a like, subscribe if you new. Make sure you turn on post notifications and comment job gang or no gang. Let's get straight into it, man. Let's go. All right, so the first thing you guys want to do is go to your controller settings. Go and turn your vibration off and turn your shot meter off. I know a lot of people use both of these. Honestly, I feel like the only thing that you might want to keep on if you really can't shoot without vibration, I would recommend turning off vibration if you do use it because a lot of times you would mess around and airball or shoot it very late trying to sit there and wait to feel the vibration in your controller and sometimes you don't feel it if you have an older controller. And make sure your shot timing is on shots only. If any of y'all boys coming to this video using real player percentage bro i don't know what to tell y'all bro stop using it real player percentage is made for bots one more thing that i also want to mention if you guys are on ps4 or if you guys are on xbox one on your jump shot splash scroll all the way down and click none if you guys use a jump shot splash sometimes it'll make your jump shot delay and you'll randomly shoot earlys and lates but that's one more tip that a lot of people don't know if you turn off your jump shot splash you will green up way more consistent all right so the next thing that i'm gonna put you guys on to is the boost a lot of people say that you don't need boost in this game to shoot good i'm gonna tell you first First hand that that's a lie. I've played without boost and I've played with boost and I know the difference. Would you rather play without boost and shoot three for six or four for six every game when you could play with boost and shoot six or six and seven for seven in other games? All you gotta do is buy jump shot boost, bro. They don't cost a lot. It costs 1500 VC for 10 games. For anybody that wanna get in the stage or anything like that, 1500 VC is not gonna affect you at all. Also, the other thing I'm gonna put you guys on to is the Gatorade Super Shake. You guys wanna buy this one to get that extra bar of stamina. If y'all notice, I have two bars of stamina. The higher your stamina, is the more bigger your green window is so if you notice when you don't have stamina your jump shot gets super duper slow buying the gatorade super shake gives you a whole bunch of extra stamina all right so for the play shot jump shot you're gonna go with set shot 25 base release one is release 26 and release two is damian lillard the release speed is obviously four out of four the animation blending is 55 45 shout out to my dog glock because he the one that put me on to release 26 and damian lillard i've been using that in the last like two or three jumpers that i've made since i've dropped them i'm gonna tell you right now that this jumper is flat and this jumper is fast and glitchy i literally green 30 percent covered shots with this and if you had takeover it's unlimited threes let me know what you guys think about this jump shot all right with that being said let's get straight into the spot up jump shot all right and for the spot up jump shot we're gonna go with base three release one is paul george and release two is rudy gay the release speed is on four fours and the animation blending is on 50 50 i use this jump shot on my point four and my two-way playmaker i use it on a popper and i use it on my lockdown when i get on lock i'm gonna be the first one to tell y'all right now rudy gay and paul george are two of the wettest releases in the game if you don't want to use jump shot three base and you want to use set shot 25 or any other type of base that y'all use go ahead and do that and put it with these releases i've been using this jump shot actually for like the last month and i haven't changed it on my spot ups and my iso builds this jumper is smooth and easy to time and it's fast all right let me know if this jump shot is wet for y'all boys in the comment section down below now let's get into the tips and tricks on how to green more and get open all right so as you guys can see on my play shot i do have a 94 three-pointer and i do have a 97 mid-range now on the badges tip these are the shooting badges that i use i never really changed these for the most part unless i'm playing in a wager or anything that's the only time i take off some of these badges blinders hall of fame hot zone hunter hall of fame sniper hall of fame stop and pop mismatch expert both all hall of fame green machine on silver and chef on gold the only badge that i see a lot of people sometimes put on when they play stage and they want to actually get threes up some people put on lucky number seven on bronze or silver but that's always optional if you got more shooting badges than i do this whole badge setup is tough if you can't green with these badges on i really don't know what to tell you all right solely for the purpose 
purpose of this video, I do have my jump shot splash turned on just so you guys can see easier when I'm greening. But the first tip and the trick that I'm going to put you guys onto is try to get the same animation every single time you shoot. If you don't know what I mean by that, is try to get the same quick stop animation every single time that you shoot. So if you guys quick stop with your right stick or if you quick stop with L2, try to get the same animation every single time that you shoot. Another tip or a trick is try to get your first shot every single time that you have the ball. And what I mean by that is try to take the first shot that you get as soon as you get a little bit of space don't do a bunch of extra dribbling because the more stamina you have like i said the bigger your green window is and 2k has made it where even if you do have stamina if you dribble out the whole clock a lot of the times you can't green and this is especially for the people that don't use the gatorade boost so make a quick move get open and take the first shot that you got every single time another tip or trick is is to use no landing especially if you're using set shot 25 you rarely get your landing anyways so there's no point in using one now if you do use one if you can't green with the landing that you're trying to use and you're using my jump shot or your own custom jump shot if you don't green a lot with it and you don't see your animation pop up just take it off there's nothing wrong with being a basic 2k player who doesn't use animations as long as you're greening your shots it really doesn't matter now the other thing i was going to tell you guys is stop trying to pay attention to the player's hands and stuff every time that you shoot because to be honest i just let it fly i don't even have a jump shot cue because a lot of people ask me like when do i release my jump shots i don't i literally don't even pay attention to that at all i don't look at my hands i don't look at my feet or anything i literally if your jump shot is not just natural and you can just green with it without even really looking for real it, I'm, I'm gonna promise you right now it's not the jump shot for you also another tip and trick is if you've been using the jump shot for at least for one to two to three games and you actually been using the tips that i'm teaching you guys and you still can't green consistently i'm not gonna lie you might have to switch your jump shot and then if it's your own jump shot and you're just using my tips and tricks you still might have to switch it because if you can't green with a jump shot on nba 2k22 after a few games you might have to make a new one because it's so easy to shoot in this game i know you guys and got on the court and played against somebody just randomly shooting whites a million times or somebody that's not even good at the game actually just sitting there green in every single shot it's not hard to shoot in this game at all all right and the last tip that i'm gonna put you guys on to is try not to play with your controller plugged in only play with your controller plugged in if you are on xbox if you're on playstation try not to play with your controller plugged in playstation has latency problems when the controller is plugged in a lot i've noticed it i don't know how it is for ps5 but i am on a ps4 right now as we speak and i've had trouble with it when i was on xbox i used to plug in my controller all the time and i would literally not miss but on playstation i just use my controller wireless and i feel like it works way better without having the cord in my controller all right you guys let me know if these tips and tricks were helpful for you let me know if the jump shot was wet for you if you guys got the three random numbers in this video don't forget to dm me on instagram or twitter we're on the road to 90,000 subscribers so like i said if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe turn on all notifications and make sure you comment jog gang or no gang in the comment section down below i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video it's jog gang or no gang and i'm out man peace Cheerable.